So in this example video, um, it's 16 minutes long. Some topics have to take a while uh, to explain. This is a tutorial. This has a title, number of views, and statistics. So the anatomy of a video is that there is a title which needs to be optimized. We'll talk about what that means. We need a title which helps you get found, which therefore needs to be optimized. There is a description. So this is uh, type as much as you want about the video. have active links. So you can put a link directly to your product, directly to your website in the description. People will be able to click it and go directly to that link. It's an active link. What is the, what is the name of the um, recording that you recommended? Oh, let me write it here again. Uh, so to record uh, computer screens, I recommend a software called OBS, which is Open Broadcaster Software. Description needs to be optimized. So if you've taken my search engine optimization class, we talk a lot in there about uh, developing a strategy of keywords. What are the words that people are searching for? I want to figure out the words that people are searching for in this niche of bakeries or this niche of um, real estate. I want to find the keywords that people are searching for when they're interested in real estate. So I'm going to optimize my website to get found by those words. That's the basic concept of SEO for a website. We need something similar on YouTube. We've got a video. Uh, top five tips on buying your first house. Well, I have that, and 10,000 other people have also made that video. So I need to stand out from the competition. Title and description are two of the ways that will help you do that. We need to optimize those like we would optimize a website. What are the right keywords? What are people searching for? Because the title does have a limit, we want to focus on, eventually, the description, where I have no limit. Now, I don't want to abuse it by writing every letter in the, in the dictionary, every word in the dictionary in the description. But we're going to write uh, descriptions uh, about our video that uh, help us get views and traffic. In the case here, learn how to make Android apps in Visual Studio. You have everything you need to make mobile apps for free. This description here doesn't go into a lot of detail about what's in the video exactly. This is about um, a few sentences with the keywords of Android apps, Visual Studio, mobile app, free. We'll talk about why did I choose those a little later. But this is part of why it's important to not only have you created a video, you need to upload it and optimize it to get traffic. And they've changed their interface, so it looks different now. I think it's a little worse. Some of you might see that you have a show more or read more button that is like attached to a line there. And now the new one is detached, which almost makes it look transparent, like it's not even there. I'm not even going to notice it. A lot of people won't notice that show more they really need to make that more obvious because you do have the ability to then write hundreds or thousands more words. But for a lot of people, they're not going to notice that. So you might have the older interface where it might be a little more obvious. And I have the newer interface where it's less obvious. So what I've got here under Show More are the actual chapters. If a person is interested in a particular topic out of these 16 minutes, I want to learn how to activate plugins. I can click there 
and that is an active link to take me to 8 minutes 40 seconds. So I don't have to fast forward, rewind to find the right part. We can set up, and this is optional, we can set up chapters to jump, to have the person jump to the different times of your video. You have to write this yourself. You have to figure out at 10 minutes 41 seconds something happens, so I'm going to write it in my description at 10 colon 41, 10 minutes 41. This can be very useful for long videos, and it gives you the opportunity to write all of these keywords. Here's a keyword of JavaScript, uh, jQuery, jQuery mobile. So just by writing a time, it automatically creates a link? Yeah. Wow. So uh, I don't think a lot of people know that, and it is more work, but it's something that I really recommend. Let's say optional, a time code in your video, in your, de in your description, or a time code. So simply, you have to figure out what it is. So if, if, if something happens uh, in 12, in the first 12 seconds, you have to type, you know, 0, 0, colon, 16, right? That's 16 seconds into the video. If something happens at 12 minutes and 42 seconds, you have to write 12, 42. 12 minutes, 42 seconds. Do you have to write the 12 minutes, 42 seconds out as well? Or just the 12 no, minutes? just the numbers. So I'm writing it like that because it's not time. It's not 12 noon, 42 minutes. It's 12 minutes and 42 seconds into your video. And this is, you know, 16 seconds into your video. Once you put the time in, it puts the hyperlink in it? Yes. You don't have to do anything special. You type your times, you click save, and those become active. Mm -hmm. Yes? Uh, this article should be done on the video before the after the video? No, you can do it before or after. Um, when you upload it to, to YouTube, you have the you have the step where you can write your time codes, or after you upload it, you can uh, you can add the time codes at any time. So when the video is over on your desktop or laptop, you can then no. upload to YouTube and then Yes. Exactly. You have to upload it to YouTube to add the time code. But what you can do on your own computer, you could watch your video and uh, and make the notes, write the, write the time codes, and once you know that, then you just simply type them into when you upload it. And how we can add the music to the video? Before upload or after? That one should be before. You can add music after, but it's not as good as if you do it yourself. So when we talked last week about uh, how to use uh, the video editor, it's better to add the music before you upload. You have more control. There is some software that we can... Uh, yes, Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker. Yes? And so far, you've shown us that this is something that we should do, but have you shown us how to do it? No. Okay, I just no. wanted to sure I didn't miss that. Yeah, after we, we look at the general concepts, then we will do it. Yes? So these uh, chapter names, too, is something else that the search engine Exactly. Okay. So uh, the search engines and the search inside of YouTube. Uh, okay. Someone might be on, a, on Google or Yahoo or Bing and they might search how to download Visual Studio and they might get this video. But people are spending a lot of time on YouTube itself and in YouTube people will search how to do something. So I've got the keywords download Visual Studio and if someone searches it up here this video might appear. Now again, it is the popularity. If this video is brand new and it has one view, it might not show up like another video that has existed for a month and has 4,000 views. So all of this helps you to, to get to that level of popularity. And this one's two months old and it's got 4,000 views. So I think this one's been optimized pretty well. And each view is a separate person opening it up, right? No, it could be the same person clicking play and replay 20 times. Oh. YouTube will... You, your own you could, but you shouldn't. <laughs> because uh, that number is just a number. 
that number does help you with your popularity and, and, all, and getting more people to view it, yes. But uh, YouTube can track that, that it's your own account clicking on play 10 times. And that's even worse if you do uh, choose to monetize your channel, which we'll talk about later, which is to make money off of your channel. The, if you play your own video and such, it could uh, trigger their system to then uh, stop your money. And they, have, and they reserve the right at any point to rescind the contract, and if they haven't paid you out, they will cancel all your money. So it's much better for you not to pump up your own views, like your own video, or click on your own ads. Don't do any of that because it could be detrimental. You know, that's, that's an interesting question. I don't think the comments are very important because unfortunately the comments can become very, very vile toxic and mean and terrible very easily. An anonymous online internet account where people can write whatever crazy thing or terrible thing they want, and YouTube is notorious for having a cesspool of comments. Uh, when the Ghostbusters movie, the, the recent one that came out, it was the, it was the worst thing to, to read the comments. People were so misogynistic and terrible toward that movie. So I don't think there's any value in comments uh, because it can be so negative so easy. I don't think YouTube pays too much attention to comments. It's more about your subscribers and your views. And do you have any chance to delete the comments that you don't have? I, I, I don't remember if you can delete them, but there is a better way where you, where you can approve comments. Before any comment is visible, you can say yes or no to view it. And that's what I'm going to recommend when we do it. We're going to activate the feature, do not allow any comments to appear until I approve them. That way we can keep out the bad comments and leave the good comments. Let, let me store the bad comments. In the trash can. No, I mean, you cannot review it. Oh, no, no, you can't. You can. There will be a screen where you'll be able to view all the comments before you approve them, and then uh, approve them or delete them. Can you block somebody who will see your website? Or? You can block someone. If, if this person here was annoying, I can click them and click block. But if they, if they know the address to my video, they can just copy the address and open up a different web browser and go to it. So there's no real way to block people. You know, you can't completely block them, but you will be able to, to some degree, still control it. We also have thumbs up and thumbs down. Uh, that has some value also, um, but still it's views. This one's got 32 thumbs up, one disgruntled person that didn't like it for some reason. Mm -hmm. Again, back to the Ghostbusters movie, that one has the most thumbs down of any YouTube video in the world, <laughs> and it doesn't deserve it. It's just, you know, misogynists and these annoying people and just like these people that have a terrible opinion and because oh uh, why are you uh, destroying my childhood thumbs down so these don't have that much of a value either they're a very good ego boost when you have 20 thumbs up but they are also a negative ego boost what's the opposite of a boost they're a negative ego boost when you've got those thumbs down but the more value is the views there is a way to uh, deactivate these, I believe, so that no one can see those, I think. But uh, for your rankings and such, I don't think there's much value for thumbs up, thumbs down. It's still about views and subscribers. Anatomy of a video, description, thumbs up or down. How people like or dislike your video. Nothing, uh, not much value to you can be deactivated. Comments. Uh, what people are saying about your video. Uh, recommendation. Moderate your comments. 
You want to moderate what people can say on that. Hello again. So we're going to pick it up in just a moment. Um, we have uh, guest speakers.